in today's video, I'm gonna give you 20 questions to ask a single mother if you're entertaining her as a man and you are looking for a wife to see if she is qualified. Let's talk about it. Praise to the Most High Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in, you know, to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. You know, this video comes by uh, request. Shout out to my brother MK Mobile Gaming in the Philippines. Shout out to him. Go check his channel out. You know, uh, hit that like button, subscribe to his channel. You know, if you like his content. You know, good brother over there, constantly pushing forward in the word, speaking the truth. And he wanted me to uh, to ask some questions. So I'll give you a little bit of backstory. Man, I am happily married. I'm a happily married man, you know. And when I met my wife, you know, I was probably about three years out of a divorce, two and a half, three years out of a divorce. And I met my wife and she had two sons and I have a daughter from a previous marriage. So this video is not to uh, shame single mothers, but give men some legitimate questions to be able to ask, to be able to determine, are you willing to assume the responsibility of being the spiritual covering, being the provider, being the leader, you know, of a woman who has kids? And it can be, uh, out of kids from another uh, marriage. It can be kids out of wedlock. And I'll tell you this, there are some women out there that are single mothers that have wifely attributes, characteristics, morals, and values. But in order for a man uh, to find that, you're gonna have to discern the spirit in her. You're gonna have to vet her properly. You're gonna have to vet her properly. And those first encounters, those dates and courtings, it's about getting to see, you know, what kind of fruit is she producing? What is her spirit about, you know, and, and getting down to the nitty gritty because there's some stuff that as a man, you do not want to uh, partake if she is what I call one of these unhinged single mothers, okay? So one of the questions you need to ask and I'm gonna give you probably, I know this is titled 20 questions, but I'm probably gonna give you in the realm of 20 to 30, and you choose from these, you know, which ones are best suited for you. Because I tell you, knowing what somebody's favorite movie is, knowing what somebody's favorite food is, that's generally not important when a relationship fails. But today I'm gonna drive you towards or get you geared in the mindset of answering questions that actually show, okay, character, mindset, what, what spirit potentially might be in her, okay? All right, a very uh, important question off the rip is, do you have a relationship with the Most High? Tell me about that relationship. What does that relationship look like? That's a very open-ended question you know, because that can go so many different ways, but you're asking that to be able to see, does she have a good understanding of what righteousness is, what biblical order is, what her roles are, or does she have just this uh, fictitious relationship where the book says the Most High Yah may not know her because of the lifestyle that she chooses to live? So that's a good question, okay? All right. Let's go to some of these other ones. How important is your career and being a mother? Which one is more important to you? Okay, that can lead you into asking her what are her short-term and long-term goals? You know, maybe she's a rare single mother to where her short-term and long-term goals are uh, 
encompassed in that motherhood and they're focused on motherhood. Or maybe she's one of these worldly single mothers to where uh, her short-term and long-term goals has nothing to do with family, has nothing to do with righteousness, but is all self-centered around her, okay? How many days of the week do you find yourself not having the time to tend to your motherly roles due to work? You see what I'm saying? That's gonna give you a good gauge of if she's already doesn't have time to be a mother, you know, how much of the, how much of the load is she gonna uh, expect for you to do once you get into a committed relationship with her while she's off working, okay? Tell me a little bit or talk to me a little bit about your co-parenting situation. And either she has that figured out, either they've spent the time or she has invested the time to get that somewhat, uh, you know, amicable, or she could reveal to you that it's non-existent or she could say it's the best ever. If it's non-existent, hey, that's a, that's a, a huge load you're gonna be carrying as a man. Uh, if it's the best ever and she goes into, well, you know, we're friends and we still do stuff together, that potentially will let you know that there's something there in between them, okay? What matters the most to you in life? And these are questions to where if you ask a woman, she'll be able to give you uh, broad answers and should be able to elaborate. These are not just, uh, you know, simple yes or no. Do you consistently receive child support or monthly payments for your child or children, okay? And that's gonna tell you right then and there, uh, is the man that's out there being held accountable for his responsibility to provide for those kids or is she letting him off? How often do you come up short monthly prior to payday? And this is a question that's gonna, uh, you know, oftentimes you won't realize this until you're in a committed relationship and then you're seeing all of these uh, emergencies happen month to month. This may not be a question you ask on the first date, but after a little bit, and you kind of have to lead into these questions because some of these are very personal, but it's gonna show you uh, behind the scenes what people, what, what, a, what a woman uh, may try to mask. How do you prioritize your life so that your child has time to spend with their father? And this is geared upon that other uh, question about co-parenting. How does she uh, enable the process of the man? What does she do to ensure that the father, that's not saying she's supposed to go all out her way, but how would she help facilitating the relationship between the father and the child? That will tell you a lot. Okay, and this is for a woman with multiple children. Do your children have the same father? Okay, it's gonna tell you a lot about uh, the choice in men, possibly, okay, uh, if there's two kids, maybe the first guy wasn't really any good, but maybe the second guy got a little bit better. If there's more than one kid, maybe the first guy started off really bad. Maybe all three of the guys is really bad. You know, they're probably guys that you probably shouldn't lay down and have kids. It's gonna tell you a lot about her selection process in men, okay? Uh, were you married to their father? Because oftentimes we have some single mothers that were married and uh, you have to get the, the, the information and the blueprint data as to why that marriage, um, you know, didn't make it. And, and you wanna ask, okay, what was your part in that if she was married? Okay, what are your weaknesses as a woman and as a mother? You know, that's gonna show you self-awareness, that she's actually aware of some issues, some deficiencies that she has to work on. And that way you know what you're gonna have to lead her through, okay? What does submission as a woman desiring to be a wife mean to you? She may not even be trying to be a wife. She may just be trying to get some provisions. You know, she may just be looking for uh, the opportunity that, that comes with casual dating. So you wanna ask because submission in today's modern daytime and hour is a curse word. And biblically, it's righteous for a man to submit himself to the Most High Yah, for a woman to submit herself to her man. 
Here's another one. Should you submit everything to your man or some things? Now, if this woman claims to have some kind of religious background, you know, you got to watch this question right here because uh, women, a lot of women know what the book says, but they will try to uh, try to weasel they wear out of it to articulate something to you that's not what the book says. And you're going to see that in her character if you choose to uh, cover her. Do you desire to be a housewife or a homekeeper? You know, that's going to have a lot to do because as a man, you're going to have an expectation that you want her to feel. And if yours is biblical, uh, she's going to let you know she's not willing to be that Proverbs 31. She's more focused on going out into the world, getting that bag, you know, things like that. So this is all stuff you have to consider. Okay. And if not, why? Why don't you uh, desire to be that? Or is there something that you see wrong with the housewife or uh, the homekeeper? You got to think about, she might come from a long line of women who are strong, independent, working women, say they don't need no man. And I would advise you as a man, that's probably not a woman that you want to, uh, to cover uh, due to her mindset outside of having children that's not yours. Okay. The next question, in your eyes, what do you consider necessities as a woman in your life? And that's going to show you, okay, uh, is there any kind of delusion there? Or is she pretty much, does she have a simple mindset? Does she have a little bit of common sense? Okay. Uh, running water, necessity, things like that. Or is she looking at like uh, Sephora, uh, Mac makeup, necessity, you know, all of this high end stuff, necessity. You want to know this because as a man being the provider, you're going to have to front the bill on, uh, you know, the lifestyle. And the onus is on you to find out what kind of lifestyle does she deem as necessity. And you may realize, oh man, this, this, this woman is pretty simple, pretty basic. Or you might see, man, this pretty, is pretty, uh, this woman is, uh, pretty outlandish and very, uh, high maintenance. And that's up to you. All right. Next, are you interested in casual dating or are you dating to become a wife? There's women out there that have no interest in becoming a wife. Some of them are single mothers. They just, you know, they want the provision without the responsibility. They want the, uh, they want the protection without the leadership coming with correction. Okay. The next question, if you're in a relationship and your child tells you that something happens between your partner and the child, what would you do? And there's oftentimes some of these situations, the kids may not want you, uh, with their mother and kids will try to do a lot of stuff. My daughter did this same thing, you know, tried to say some crazy stuff once. And I'll tell you, uh, a woman that does not move according to common sense and does not dig deeper to see what happened, if she off rip is gonna take the side of the child without even applying logic and reasoning to the scenario to make sure everything adds up, okay? tell me how this happened. Maybe that was a misunderstanding. Uh, here's what's going to happen. You're going to end up covering a woman that will shift trust in a moment's notice without any proof. Next question. What is, what has your experience as a single mother taught you about yourself? That's another self-awareness question. You see what I'm saying? And, uh, She's either gonna be able to answer these questions in deep thought, take a moment, get poised and answer these questions and give some good answer or either she's gonna fumble, okay? Here's another one that you may wanna ask down the road because this is gonna show you uh, what her trustworthiness is. What is your credit score and uh, how much debt do you have? And I would encourage that if you're vetting a woman, uh, I did this with my wife, I wanted to know because I'll be dang if you tell me you got a 700, uh, a 800, and your stuff is in the 400s, and I assume the responsibility of covering you, and now I got all of this stuff that I got to cover. So I would actually want to see proof of that. What debt? And you know, something that I did was I told my wife, hey, before we get married, I need you to get rid of this debt. We're not getting into uh, marriage with this debt, okay? 
Here's another one. How do you feel about homosexuality? That will tell you a lot right there. That will tell you a lot. When was your last relationship? And when was the last time you were sexually active? This is gonna tell you whether she is, uh, what her intent is. Because if she says her last relationship uh, was, you know, uh, two years ago, and she was sexually active, you know, two, three months ago, man, that's nothing more than fornication. That's nothing more than uh, sexual immorality. She might be a promiscuous woman. How old is your child? That's very important. You know, as a man, you wanna know this, you might be thinking, okay, man, this woman, I thought she had a 17 year old. Man, this woman might got a two year old. She's not gonna have that much time, you know, versus the child being older and about to get out of the house versus the child being two and you got to you got to assess all this because it's going to it's going to become your responsibility to cover once you marry her. Uh the next one, does your child have special needs? There are a lot of women out here that uh some single mothers, they even have it even harder to find a man because their child is special needs. And you have to be willing to assume that responsibility as a man and it takes a lot of patience. What kind of special needs? Is this more of a physical handicap or is this uh, something uh, mental? You know, you wanna know that. What do you do for work? What do you do for work? You wanna know that one. Does she work in, uh, you know, her work history? Does she jump from job to job? Or has she consistently been working the same job? That's gonna show you, okay, well, she stuck around with that, so she may not be as prone to jump ship, you know? Uh, do you receive any kind of government assistance? Man, we live in a daytime and hour where a lot of women will claim, single mothers will claim this independence, but they're getting every government assistance known to man. You know, uh, uh, some of these women are paying a uh, hundred bucks for rent. You know, they're getting eight, nine hundred dollars in food stamps, all of this stuff. So that's going to tell you, okay, how much assistance is she getting in order to survive now? And in order to marry her, I'm going to have to compensate for that because I'm the provider. And if she's on these government assistance, you have to be able to articulate her. You're not going to be able to, to, to legally have a man on record. So you want to know that. Is your child's father alive or is he in jail? You definitely want to know that. Definitely want to know that because... Uh, you could be uh, potentially courting a widow. And the widow, the word says, pure religion undefiled before the most high Yah is to cover the widows and the fatherless or the orphans in their affliction and to keep oneself unspotted from the world. So if she's a widow, man, you'd be doing a great deal of service, but still you have to assume those responsibilities. Next one, have you ever been arrested? If so, for what? You wanna make sure uh, she doesn't have any kind of criminal record. You wanna make sure she doesn't, hasn't been involved in any kind of uh, domestic uh, abuse and stuff like that. And if she got charges, man, that pretty much tells you everything you need to know, okay? Because when things go south and you have arguments, you don't wanna be the guy getting slapped all upside your head and she told you that she had a history. Here's another one. If the, if the, if she's not receiving any child support or compensation to provide for the kids from the father, why don't you press for child support? And that's basically a question saying, why do you allow this man to get off the hook from fulfilling his responsibility? The next question, what happens if your car breaks down and you don't have the money to fix it? This is gonna let you know, okay, who does she lean on when things hit the fan? Because she might be telling you she doesn't have a covering, but uh, she might have friends, she might have, and you wanna know the fullest extent, okay, are these male friends, are these female friends, or maybe are these your parents? Who are you, you know, worst case scenario, you don't want to be courting this woman and she's got a sugar daddy, okay? How many times in a two week period are you late? How many times? This is gonna let you know if she's constantly late, a lot of women, well, a, a lot of women in general will be late to the first date. A lot of single mothers will be late, have a problem with tardiness. And, you know, 
uh, it takes patience to be able to deal with that. It takes a certain style of leadership to be able to deal with that. You know, you might want to say if you need to be somewhere at uh, at, at 5 p.m., you might want to tell her to be ready at about 4.15. We got to be there at 4.15. That way you have a buffer. It takes a different type of leadership. Doesn't mean that uh, she's not able to be worked with. Okay, here's the next one. What makes up a good man? And this is going to tell you uh, what she actually looks for in a man. And some of this stuff may be solely superficial and nothing of character. And chances are it will outline what kind of man she's been with in the past. Here's another one. Tell me about your relationship with your mother and your father. You know, does she come from uh, a very tight knit family, a very uh, a, a culture that family is very important? Or does she come from a long line of like independent uh, divorced women, women that have never been married but had kids? Or was her father in her life? Why he wasn't in her life, X, Y, and Z? Is she bitter towards her father? That's gonna let you know if she's got issues with men right then and there, okay? Uh, what advice would you give to another single mother? Just to see what she would say. Is she gonna give another single mother uh, some good, solid, concrete, righteous advice? Or is she gonna give another single mother some worldly advice that will keep them struggling, okay? What are you most proud of? And she can take you anywhere with that. How would you feel if your partner did not get you a Valentine's Day gift or a birthday gift? You want to see where her mindset is. You know, uh, you know, me as a man, not keeping uh, these worldly holidays, but keeping the feast days, you know, if you don't ask this question, you could be facing a tribulation right then and there because she is, she's caught up on these heathen holidays. So I gave you about 25 to 30 uh, questions that you can choose from and select in order to vet a woman properly, a single mother properly, because uh, you know, what's her favorite restaurant? What's her favorite TV show? What's her favorite activity and all of that stuff? Does it matter when relationships go sour or when they go south? What matters is uh, all of these signs and flags that you potentially could have asked questions to reveal and you chose not to. Hope this helps you out. Closer to y'all ministries, kicking that thing, gun barrel straight.